Woo! All right. All right, all right. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday. Happy post Tuesday. Happy pre Thursday. Uh, <laughs> it's good to be here. It's good to be back. It's a blessing. Um, it's always nice to have that little break on Tuesday, you know, to kind of get the uh, top 10 Tuesday out there, get Absolutely. that show out there, and just take a step back and ready to go for the back half of the week. A um, lot to break down today. Uh, first and foremost, um, I want to talk about the Manti Teo documentary because mm-hmm. that's just crazy. I haven't finished it. I'm at the part. I'm literally like it was on the TV right there. I was watching it all afternoon. I'm at the part where it's about to break. <laughs> but for those people what? who don't remember what this documentary is, basically what happened, unless you were too young to remember, Manti Teo, uh, linebacker, Notre Dame, stud linebacker. Stud. Like Heisman finalist, like just Stud. an animal he uh during his senior year it broke that his uh grandma and his longtime girlfriend died on the same day mm-hmm. and it was really sad it was a national like story everyone kind of rallied Getting a lot of him. attention yeah yeah, yeah. It, it was it was going nuts and like yeah everyone felt bad for this guy and he was like kind of playing in their honor all season and he's long. a great guy too yeah he was like a really nice you know just known for being nice he was like the captain yeah. of the team you know he's like this notre dame like golden boy type right. like yeah he just he fit the bill everyone liked him so everyone felt bad for him and um right before the heisman uh, announcement i believe so we're getting that part in the documentary so i need a refresher on it but basically it came out that his girlfriend uh, didn't exist. Mm. He was catfished the whole time. Completely. Um, which we can, we'll get into all that in a second, but uh, finish up the recap. He didn't win Heisman. They didn't win the national title. He kind of fizzled out and he was just, it was just kind of became a joke almost. Yeah. Everyone was like making fun of him for having a fake girlfriend. And like, <laughs> granted, we were in like sixth, seventh grade. Right. I promise you we were making jokes about oh, having yeah. a fake girlfriend. Oh yeah. I mean, cause like, it was kind of unheard of at the time. Oh, absolutely. It was something where, like, catfishing wasn't a thing yet. That no. was basically, like, the first... It was kind of becoming catfish. a thing, I feel like, at that time. Yeah, the internet was still new, so, like... Yeah. You didn't know too many people outside of your own little bubble. And then when you meet someone on the internet, you just... You had no reason to think they were fake. It, uh, what did What do you think his emotions were with... Like, he's like, oh, my girlfriend... Like that's just I can't. I don't even understand where you even how you approach that. <laughs> like the the finding out they're fake. Well, just like like he's sad because he thinks his girlfriend died. Yeah. And his grandma, of course. But this is just like his girlfriend. And then he realizes she's completely fake, and she never even died or anything, or never even lived. Yeah. It's like, are you mad? Are you angry? I think you're, yeah, you're pissed off at the person who did it. Yeah. First and foremost, and then. You're just like a sh- like ashamed. Yeah. Not even ashamed, just like uh, what's the word? Um, like embarrassed. Embarrassed. You're yeah. Just embarrassed, because like, Man. I mean, I you watch the documentary and I can see how it happened. Because okay. when we hear the story, like you just hear he had a fake girlfriend for like two years. Like yep. Yep. we're like, what an idiot! <laughs> how do you not figure that out? Right. But I will say, like, I can see how that works. Also, different age of the internet. Okay. Secondly, for sure, he was also like. It, they made it seem like they weren't as like uh, lovey. Like they weren't as strong as a relationship as it seemed after. How the long fact. have they been dating? So I think they had been talking for like a year or a year and a half, maybe. Okay. Okay. Um, but the way it was, like he was in. Oh, shout to uh, Brian in the TikTok chat for sending the roses. We appreciate that. Thank Happy Hump Day. Everyone. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Um, so basically, he. Um, like, like they were like dating, but not really, because like they knew they only they were only talking on the internet. Like they they were only mm. communicating. They'd never seen each other like in person, so there was barriers there, and so they weren't like the strongest couple in the world. Right. They weren't like the ideal couple. Um, but then, if you find out, like he he definitely said he had doubts about this, and like he was like figuring out what was real, and then like as he's growing in popularity, like obviously like his fame in Notre Dame, like girls are all over there right. all that stuff so they weren't like the ideal couple by any means but then you find out his girlfriend dies right he can't just like not act like that's a big deal mm-hmm. you know what i mean yes you have to like even if they like i don't even know if they were like dating dating like they didn't really make that clear really but, like 
Huh. You're talking to this girl for, and then she dies, and then all of a sudden you have to like announce, like let people know that she died, and yeah. then you can't downplay that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you have to be like, yeah, my girlfriend died, and like it's really upsetting for me, and all that. There's right. no way to downplay that. No matter if you're like <laughs> close or not. No matter like, how many di- like doubts you had about this relationship, you never really met her. Right. Um, you can't downplay that. So you kind of. You don't build it up, but you just like, yeah, this is a tragedy. This is very sad. Yeah. Uh, you can't, in that moment, you can't be like, well, I kind of had doubts that she was right. real. Right. Like, you can't say that. And, you know, he probably was planning or hoping to meet her, yeah. you know, at some day. And, like, he's like, oh, I'm about to, maybe if I win the Heisman, you know, like, Dude, bring, her, bring her back the Heisman trophy. It's like. The lies this person came up with to, like, cover up and, like, psycho. not meet. Car crash and leukemia. What? Two like two of the craziest. Like you could have just said, "Dude, my webcam's broken." Yeah, <laughs> and then, that's so or, true. Or, like I don't know. Like don't come. I don't know because he was trying to like fly out to go see her, and he, he her like, oh. excuse was, "I don't want you to see me like this as she's recovering from leukemia." Oh my! Like bro, it's like, come on. Well, it, and like if she, if they like, you know, if she cares for him or whatever, if they have something going on, it's like mm-hmm. maybe she would want him there for yeah. that i mean i don't know it seems a little Nuts. it's a little red flag I hey thank you. hey shout out to brian brian's going crazy in the chat brian um, brian uh, let me remember this name brian shane so is brian on the a-list yes sir number seven he is oh hell yeah uh, i just want to make sure because then, then i'll teach you how to put someone on the a-list because he deserves it thank you brian we appreciate it yeah i'm not sure how <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll get there yeah baby steps still still uh coming into form here but yeah but then um yeah, dude, I I don't know. I'm still unpacking this. I want to watch the rest of the documentary before I comment too much on it. <laughs> but I do remember this happening. And, like, I think the big takeaway from this is we were very harsh on Manti Tech yeah. for yeah. Uh, no reason. Because, like, you just, I mean, you, we think, I guess, the initial reaction when it broke is, like, he's an idiot. Yeah. And, like, everyone yeah. has that. Like, obviously, it's embarrassing. But, like. Yeah. He got I, played. I, you can played. see how it got how it got to that point. Yes. And yeah. you know, props to him, though, because is he still in the NFL? He played on the uh, Chargers for yeah. a little bit. I don't think he's been in the NFL for a while. Really? To be honest. Um, well, that's that's too the bad. crazy part. So, like, if he came out, I forget when he was drafted. He wasn't first round. Uh, but he was a projected first round pick his junior year. So he could have came out. Dang. Uh, Manti Teo is an American football player. He's a free agent. Free agent, yeah. Played at Notre Dame. I don't know when the last time he was on a – um, he's married now, though. Hey, hey, shout, there we go. We you know what? We rebound. That makes me so happy. Get up, man, Titeo. Now he's got a real wife. Yeah, she's very real. They've met in it, person. Yes, yes. What if she's um, like a robot or something? Oh, he was on the Bears in 2020. Oh, so not too long ago. He get he got cut. Uh, I guess so. That'd be my guess. I wanna man. became engaged to his girlfriend, personal trainer, and beauty consultant Jovi Nicole and. Bino oh, she's a. Tr- oh, you know what? He deserves her. She's attractive. Is she? You you found her? Yeah. Or she. Are, you, are is. you just basing off the beauty consultant and trainer? No, no, she's no. She, there's a picture of her. Okay, and she's real. And she's very attractive. Let's go. So you Shout know what? Our boy. He deserves that. Shout out our boy Manti. That's how we rebound. How we can get, I show you her? Hey, wife? Look, look. I just looked. I saw her. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. He That's deserves. Him, you know what? Dude. You know what? That's how we rebound, boys. That's how we rebound. That's how we rebound. You get knocked down, you keep moving forward. It's rocky. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's not about how Manta. much you get hit. It's how much you can get hit and keep moving forward. Yes. How much you can take yes. and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done, Manti. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. That made me happy. That I'm brought like, the vibes back up. That I brought was, him up. I was sad. I was like, ah, oh, Manti got played. It's, yeah. It's a, it's a depressing documentary because you're like, this dude's life like got flipped upside down. For like no reason, he was just trying to be a good guy. Yeah, he really. Brian's going crazy in the TikTok chat with the donations. We appreciate Thank that. You, Brian. Thank you, Brian. The tick- so we have a history with the TikTok chat. Um, they're they're hit or miss. Sometimes they're nice to us. Sometimes they're mean. They're all over the place. I think we go live on TikTok from now on. Uh, you know what? As long I, as Brian's here, I think here, you're right. As long as Brian's here, we will be here. Okay, Brian, you got you got my word. We will go live every day here on TikTok as long as you're here. Um. And yeah, they're carrying the show right now. Be- yeah, shout out so we, Brian. We appreciate that. Oh, um, yeah. Anything else in the Manti Teo documentary you want to get well, to? What I'm, was your? I was just gonna say, to- you know, now that I know, and now that I've seen his wife, <coughs> I don't feel. I don't really feel that bad for him anymore. <laughs> 
I'm going to be honest. I mean, hindsight, you know, I don't feel bad for him. I don't, I mean, I, you know, at this point, it's like, he's fine. He's fine. I mean, he kind of went through one of the worst media cycles of anyone ever. So I wouldn't say I don't feel bad for him. Okay. Okay. So that's an interesting take to take there, Noah. He came out stronger and, uh, you know, he might not have a job per se right now. But I'm sure you know he what? got a couple Billy. Being yeah, the, he's got a side hustle. Yeah. You know, with and that Notre he, Dame. Was second round draft pick, maybe? Yeah, I think he was. He was drafted. <laughs> Let me find it. You got a lot of. Um, oh, second round, 38th overall. Dude, that's solid. That is solid. He was, I mean, that's kind of high, though, for a Heisman. Uh, or kind like, of low, or like, or yeah. like, yeah. I mean, yeah, low, yeah, low, late, low, late, late, late. Good, re- yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. He was projected first round. Who do, knows? Do, do you think the that thing messed up oh, his definitely. draft stock? Yeah, it did for sure. <coughs> Damn, it had to, dude. That's crazy. It's too bad. It's probably like a million dollar difference. And right now there. I kind of feel bad again. Now you're now we're back. <laughs> now we've cycled I feel back bad to again. feeling bad for him. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I, I'll probably have more to say once I finish the documentary. I'll have more to say tomorrow. Oh, actually, probably won't have a show tomorrow. I have to uh, help move my brother into college. Yeah, so it's that time. It's that time. It's so, that time. TBD, but most likely no show tomorrow. We'll be back on uh, Friday. Um, yes, all sir. Right, let's get into – there's one other thing I want to talk about. Oh, I saw a tweet uh, yesterday that I want to talk to you about, Noah. Okay. Did you ever apply certain colors – to subjects in school absolutely what color is math for you math oh it's a, mm, red yes math is red math is okay red. one for one <coughs> um science green yes obviously duh. duh um english lit mm, green Ooh. no no no, no i can't you just said science is i know green. but i think i had the same notebook for like uh, wait hold on because no, we had those <laughs> I want to say yellow. Yeah, I was when yellow, yellow too. It was yellow. Yes. yes. All right, and then um, <coughs> what about music? Blue. Blue. Are you wow, serious? This is crazy. Are you dude. serious? I'm dead serious. What? Dude, did that's we, nuts. Did everyone collectively have the same. That I don't know. Nuts. I don't know. What about uh, religion? Uh, that was a miscellaneous one. That was. I was purple for that. Pur- honestly, I don't think I had purple. I think I had purple. But purple would make sense. I think, for some reason, religion and yellow, too. Okay, okay. So I can see that. Um, but that was just... I'm trying to... I'm going to find the tweet that I saw. That's so true, though. Let's see what they said. That's so true. But yeah, it's so weird how you just assign colors. Because you're, like, out there getting school supplies, and you're like, all right, English notebook, yellow, Oh, here's math. a question for you. What color is uh, Wednesday? Wednesday? Yeah. Three... Wait. Once you have it, let me know. Okay. And then we'll count down and say I, at the same time. I have it. Three two one yellow red. oh uh, interesting i don't know why i think of yellow i think wednesday is red um okay okay i see monday so I is tuesday red. is yellow okay uh, interesting i go okay thursday thursday yeah, blue <coughs> i go green okay okay um and then i don't know what friday is to be friday honest. is like <laughs> i don't even know dude uh like, green gold gold yeah <laughs> i love fridays great, man great day um all right this got a big day this friday taking on the Shatar trojans how we feeling coach feeling good yeah feeling good Ready we had a roll. good good practice good energy good yeah just had to throw that out there i'm getting a little antsy for yeah, it how uh what's uh what's the line what do you think the line would Ooh, be the line man that's a good question because it's not it's, that you're gambling on no. high school sports because that would definitely right. cross some lines and it would be a, a conflict of interest it would very much be a conflict of interest um, but for me who's not a part of this game yes if i were to throw it what would the line be i think i'm gonna put it at <coughs> braves minus six really yeah is that a bias line it's up to you. Let's be honest. Up to you to decide. Okay. So I feel like uh, I feel like that might be a little biased. All right. How about Braves plus three? Okay. And a half. I, and I would hammer you guys plus three and a half. Yeah. I'd hammer y'all. <laughs> Should we turn this into a high school betting show? Dude, I mean, we could. We, we could. Would get, we would get in trouble so fast. We, yeah. Immediately. So if, as soon as anyone found out about it. If it's what if it's like hypothetical bets though, just for fun. Yeah, hypothetical bets that we actually win money on or lose yeah. money. Yeah. 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 yeah as long as we just say it's hypothetical and not real. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. It's yeah. just hypothetical betting. 
Yeah. It's not a big deal. You hypothetically throw a game so you can make money. Yeah, yeah. it's just hypothetical. Yeah. Like, come on. I'm just like the running back coach. I can't do that much. In, in case uh, this isn't abundantly clear, this is all a joke. All a joke entirely. Is, everything's comedy. Uh, it's all satire. I've said before, I do everything for the bit. Nothing I say is real. Even the I'm not even, even the game line I just made up. Yeah. Complete joke. I'm not even convinced I'm real. I do everything for the bit. Everything's a joke. Yeah. Everything's satire. Yes. I just have to make that very clear. Thank you for well, this is even you're not even that. watching a real show right now. This is all a simulation. Yep. Don't worry about it. Um <laughs> All right, no, I want to I want to run through some more uh, some more questions. Okay. For you. Okay. Um, we got because the like the list I had from yesterday is still like the, twenty long. The teammate, the team building. Yeah, team building. Dude, we got we talked so much after uh, every one of them. I know we got like three questions in, <laughs> which know. is good. That's, that's what we want. That's what we want. Um. All right, here we go. Uh, let's find one. Uh, what's the most interesting thing you have in your purse slash wallet? Mm. Do you have it on you? I do. I have What's my the purse most interesting on thing me. You have in your wallet? Nah, I got my wallet on me. <laughs> Why can't it be a purse? Why? What if I had a purse? a purse? It could be a purse. Man purse. I don't know where my satchel. Uh, let's see. The most interesting thing in my wallet, man. man I kind of want to go find uh, my wallet's in my room. I'll be right back. What is this? What is I'll this? Be right thing? back, y'all. Right, I'll, I'll hold it down. Yeah, hold down the fort. I'll hold it down while he's gotta just go down the hall real quick. Man, I mean, I have a lot of cards. I mean, the most interesting thing. Oh, he's got to go downstairs. I bet I bet you he can't find it. I bet you he can't find his wallet. Uh, oh. You know what? An interesting thing in my wallet could be my vaccine card. My vaccination card. That's interesting. I mean, you know. What's the date on it? Let's see. If you're comfortable saying. Well, I got the double dose, you know, so got first first day is May 8th of of 2021. And oh, you beat me. then June 6th. No, no, sorry. June 3rd. June mine, 3rd, uh, 2021. Mine's September or not September, sorry. It's mine's July 21st and then August 11th. It feels and then good. The, I got the boosty. I see. I didn't get the boost. So oh, we had to for school. Oh, what? No, yeah, we we weren't allowed to go back if we didn't get the boost. Holy shit! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. well, there, there's that. There's let's that. not have opinions on that one. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> I think the most interesting thing I have in my wallet is this uh, weird guy. So, this is a business card we I got at a concert. Oh my um, goodness! Wow. Uh, a couple weeks ago, and I kid you not, this guy. He had blue hair, and he was handing out just beer, and he was selling beer at this concert. Guess what uh, this business card says? What? It's a, it's a cartoon version of him, <laughs> and it's just blue hair beer guy. That's what it says. It's, it says blue hair. It says blue, blue hair, hair beer, beer guy. guy. Wow. That's literally it. And so I guess like it's very on brand yeah. for him because it's exactly what he is. Wow. Um, wow. But yeah. That's his brand. He's just blue hair beer guy. Blue hair beer guy. Was he like it's, it's charging? Like, uh, yeah, he was like just a vendor, wow. just selling beer there. Um, and there's a QR code on the back. I guess I can't really scan it right now. But it's the the business card is literally him, blue hair beer guy, and <laughs> blue hair beer guy, and then a QR code. So I kind of uh, want to like call him up one time, get him on the show. I wonder if he has hilarious. like a direct competitor. You know, so the red hair, yeah, red. the red hair beer guy. Yeah. He's like, ah, oh, that guy sucks. Yeah. Like yeah, like, like uh, purple hair seltzer dude. Per- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then the green hair guy. He's selling something else. Yeah, jeez, <laughs> I don't. But he's like like a like I don't under, like. I don't understand this guy. He was like, yeah, take my card. Take my card. Call like, me anytime. What? I just bought like a but Coors Light off of you. It's like what are you gonna like, like deliver them? Yeah, in my what house? is this for? Like yeah, I don't know what kind of uh, business he's running besides. Oh, I think honestly, I remember him saying this now. I think you could scan the code, and if you needed him during the concert, you no, could like. That's actually pretty sick. Is that, I'm, I could be making that up. But if that's true, though. That's kind of a sick move. That would be smart and it, like, of him, him to and do. You just like text him where you're at. Yeah, that would be kind of sick. Dude, Honestly, that'd be so sick. I take back any uh, condescending or uh, mean remarks I said towards blue hair beer guy. <laughs> I kind of like that business. What model. was his uh, character like? What was was he like a <laughs> how funny do you, guy? How do you think a blue hair beer guy would? I be? can imagine him just. Being, I mean, 
I don't know, loud and, and not just doesn't give a single fuck oh, dude, about he, yeah. anything. He he's exactly how you'd expect a blue air beer guy to be. All right. Exactly how. So that's that's basically it. You can use your imagination there. <laughs> um <coughs> But yeah, that's probably the weirdest thing I have in my wallet. That's definitely you know what, that tops mine, man. I don't <sighs> I also have like a bunch of like weird pictures in my wallet, like Polaroids, stuff like that. I have Polaroid for my twentieth birthday, my boy Michael. There you go, Mike. A freshman year photo. A picture of all my brothers. I have this thing I found on the football field. Actually, the last scrimmage, like last week, we had, we had a scrimmage. There was a card on the field. It's like Troopers. You ever heard of Troopers? Troopers. Uh-oh. It's a 2022 member card. And I'm like, I'm going to pick it up and keep it. Nice. Because what if it's something cool? And, and I go in there, I'm like, remember. I'm a member, so don't worry about it. Yeah, you like knock three times on the door, like, where's your card? Yeah, like, I'm like, right, right, right here. Yeah, and they just let you in. They just like give you money or something. It's like somewhere. something crazy, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, all right, next question all on right. our list. Uh, what store do you shop the most at? Mm. Oof, that's a good question. I mean, for for what? <laughs> for what? I mean, like, like for, what store do you visit the most? Brick and mortar. I'm going to have to say it's got to be Market District, the grocery store. It's got to be. Interesting. Um, yeah, dude. I think <laughs> I don't I, I order most of my stuff on Amazon. Almost everything. Yeah, I mean that's the thing too is, is if I'm going to buy like shoes or something, mm-hmm. it's, I'm going to go online yeah. and buy some the shoes. The only thing I need to go out for to buy is like food and water. Right. Right. Uh, like fruit and drinks, so like edible stuff. But I would honestly the most part like I go to the gas station, dude. Yeah, that's like too much. <laughs> like there's a gecko right there oh uh, yeah yeah and i just i'll just buy a snack buy a snack or two oh, i yeah. do need to go to walmart today i need to restock this fridge right here we need more gate or out of gatorade oh my um, you ever wake up in the middle of the night and you're like you know you're so dehydrated yes and you're just immediately like i need something to drink and i'm just gonna chug a gatorade oh dude that's i was convinced i had one left no. this morning I, i'm telling you it's 4 a.m i wake up and i'm like oh my gosh like I just need a Gatorade. Oh my gosh, I have one left. I I walk across the hall, open this fridge, nothing. The only thing in there is two Red Bulls. And I'm like, I can't. You can't. I thought about it though. You're like, I'm not going to lie, I thought about it. Yeah. But I can't. So uh, I need to restock that fridge because I need more Gatorades in there. And I want better Gatorades. I had freaking the worst combo of Gatorades ever. It was the red, yellow, and orange pack. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, the red. I've lost a lot of love for the red. Do people say like, I like, oh, you live an easy life, white. That's a tough life. That's a tough. That's life. a tough life to live when the only Gatorades you can drink are red, yellow, and orange. <laughs> Gosh, uh, you know my life is tough. Yeah, yeah, dude. So I'm sorry yeah. Yeah, you had to you. deal with that. Thank you. Send, send me some apologies in the chat. Or like, apologize. Someone, to someone has sympathized with this man. Yeah, come on now. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with the little like uh the fierce pack. You know, okay. Like the, Fierce grape and ooh, uh, cool ooh. blue. Uh huh. Um, of course. I forget. I think the other one might be the white, like Glacier Freeze. Oh something man, like that. that is good. The Dude. white one is so good. a favorite. So good. I think I like <coughs> orange. I'll be honest. Really? I do like orange. I think Fierce Grape's my favorite. Okay. Fierce, Fierce grape. Grape's a good one. Yeah. I'm I'm working on uh the yellow one. I think the the yellow, red, and orange only taste good when you're like sick. <laughs> That's like that, like the yellow Gatorade is perfect for when you're sick. Yeah. But when I'm healthy, give me cool blue, give me fierce grape all day long. Dude, I just remember playing like when I was playing basketball, um, and I'd like uh, you know I'd be tired, I'd go out, chug like half my Gatorade, mm-hmm. and then just get the worst cramp of oh. all time. And I'm like, well, just, like, what the hell did I just love. do to myself? Yeah, you just feel it in your gut. Yeah. Brian says green. No, that shit. green one. There's there's one green one. I know I was there's a green about. one. It's but actually pretty good. Is it? It's really good. What's the flavor? Do you know? Yeah, I don't even really know. It's like <laughs> I don't even know. Let me see. Let me see. Is it like a kiwi? Or like green apple? Uh, green apple would be awful. Um, there's no. My, my freaking typing is so bad. All right. Um. Here we go. What do we got? Oh. Is it lemon lime? Really? That's not it. I know lemon lime's yellow. Yeah, I know. It's a oh, it, it's fierce green apple. It's green. A- oh no way! It's ain't it. no way I, I ever drink that. It's pretty good, man. No, it's pretty good. I can't. I'm with you, Brian. It's Brian, yeah, Brian. No one's on your side. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I'll go cool blue fierce grape all day. 
Let's, uh, next question. All right. What's the longest time in a single stretch that you've been in a car? Mm. Mm. About 12 hours. Where to? To Hilton Head in South Carolina. My family, we always drive there. 12 uh, hours, no breaks? No, I mean, we, we take a break. We usually take a break, but this time we were trying to push it <laughs> as far as we could. We left at like, like we drive through the night. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> because it's honestly easier. Yeah. But like, you didn't drive through it. You slept, right? I, I mean, I took a, the, I took a little bit of the did graveyard you shift. Drive? You did? Yeah, dude. Good well, for you, man. So it's like, our, my family's so big. It's, you know, it's eight of us. So yeah. we take two cars. Four boys are in. So me, an older brother, two younger brothers. Oh, you get a boys trip. We get a boy. We're in our own Wait, car. That's awesome. So so you know, I have to take some shift in that. Yeah. And then uh, my mom, dad, and then sisters are in the other car. And it's you know we get there like two hours before because <laughs> yeah. we're going. We're just yeah. like whipping, man. I mean, not really whipping, but, but like not yeah. going like my dad who's you're going just, the speed just limit. Reinforcing some stereotypes. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> I like it. Exactly. A boys trip would be sick though. Yeah. Just driving with the boys. Yeah, dude, it's fun. That's um here's a uh, quick sidebar. How old do we think this Red Bull is? I'm about to drink it. It's been sitting here. I think it might be a day. A day or okay, that's not bad. So, should we go for it? I think you should go for it. Okay, we're going for it. I mean, if it's if it's just a day, you know. What what what's the worst oh. that can happen? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, by the taste, I'd say at least a day. Okay. At least a day. <laughs> at um, least. At All least. right. Well. Uh, oh, my longest time, I'll say my longest time driving, will be on the way back from uh, South Carolina. So hey, I was there we visiting go. My going summer after my freshman year of college, we went to go visit my buddy in uh, at Clemson. Ooh. Oh, I'll talk about this trip for a second. I don't think I've talked about Clemson. This trip seems sick, dude. So we're visiting in the summer. They had this summer party where um, all they did – basically, have you heard the song Redneck Yacht Club by Craig Morgan? I have not. All right. Well, anyways, if you ever listen to that song, that is what I experienced. <laughs> we show up. We just hang out with my buddy's fraternity. Everyone's just like on campus, weirdly, in the middle of like July. Um, <laughs> Crazy. That's so weird. We wake up the next morning. We get there like Friday saturday's the day of this boat party boat everyone has party. a boat there and then you we drive up to this lake <laughs> and everyone just ties their boats together and everyone just floats oh my for gosh hours and hours that's amazing <laughs> and because beer unopened beer floats right people just bring coolers no way and just dump them in the lake? No. You need a beer? You swim right. around for a little bit. You'll find one. That's amazing. You just grab a beer, crack it. It's probably Dude, that's so beer. sick. But it was the coolest thing ever. Um, the only issue was my buddy Owen, since he's from Indiana, did not have a boat, obviously. <laughs> so we were boatless oh, for a while. Shit. When I say I treaded water for about six hours, I treaded water for oh about six hours. Oh, my gosh. It was always like deep? You couldn't touch? Yo, yeah, you can't touch. Oh we're my. floating. Oh, my. I was straight up. I... How close to death I was, I don't know, but closer than I am now. Closer to death than Dude, I if am I now. Dude, if I'm like eight beers deep, you know, I'm not wanting to f tread on water. You know oh, what I'm saying? Exactly. But it also kind of makes it easier. That's true. That's probably true. Yeah. That's and, probably true. Yeah, it was it was nuts. Um, But then also, my uh, one of my buddies did, uh, there's a rope swing. Yeah. So a big rope swing. So all the boats made like a kind of a circle around the uh, the beach, and the beach is not a beach. It was just like the the land. Yeah. Um. So okay. we had like this circle, and then a rope swing that would go out, and you would land like in the middle of the circle. Um. That's so sick. Basically, so he was like, "Screw it, I'm gonna do it." <laughs> like we don't know anyone there besides Owen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he gets in line for this rope swing, goes up. Right before he goes up, he gives a little scream like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah!" And he goes, and he holds on a little too long. Uh oh. And so he ends up like flipping, oh. laying straight on his back, bang, ah. just and like he's 20, 30 feet in the air. Oh, and just God. bang, smack on his back. I thought he died. <laughs> I thought he was dead. I thought we're going to have to drag our boy out of this water, like Dude. lifeless. Dude. He had thought he died. Oh, and my the, gosh. The funniest part, not funny, but uh, no, funny. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny. It, the best part was every, there's like 200, 300 people there. All watching this. 
All okay. eyes are on him. Jeez. And as soon as he hits the water and you hear that smack, yeah. everyone collectively goes, oh. <laughs> Just so, everyone. Oh, like, oh, so you knew it was bad. Yeah, and then he gets up out of the water. Everyone, like, slightly cheers. That's but so and he's funny. In, he crawls over to us, like, crawls. He swim crawls over to us. Oh, and boy. And he goes, guys. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> his back the next day, just one big bruise. Oh, Just geez. purple. His back was purple Dude, the next day. So he must have <laughs> slapped that water back. So he... Oh. Damn. Directly on his back. Oh, directly dear. on his back. When you... Nuts. Man, you just unintentionally do oh. a flip off the rope swing. Bro, it are tough because, like, you got to, like, let go at the right time. Right, you right. You hold on a little too late, it throws your balance off. You let go too early, you're just, yeah. like, right in the water. It's not like a diving board where you just jump, you yeah. know. It's like you have to think there's, for a second. There's weirdly more skill that goes into that. Yes. Thing. It looks so easy. Yeah. But yeah, you have to time it up, you know. Yeah. You got to let go at the right time. Yeah. You got to hold on the whole way. That's right. Tough. Dude. But um, And then on the way back, that long story to it. I uh, ended up driving most of the way back, so that was probably the most time. I was just like, one of those times where you like kind of, you don't black out, but you just kind of lock in. Yes. Just listen to music. For My sure. My boys were asleep, and I just locked in. Just, just open road, yeah, baby. Open road, just going. We're going through like West Virginia, going through the oh, mountains. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's probably the longest I've been uh, driving at once. Driving through the mountains is, <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. it. But it sucks when it's raining. It's, it's almost like scary. It's freaky when it's raining. And it's like tight. Yeah, it's very tight. Very tight. And like, then there's another car that's done it like a million times. And they're just like, whipping. Nope. You're like, dude, like, or like you... trucks. Giant oh, trucks. Like, oh, oh, anxiety. Um, nervous. It makes me nervous. What's the best Halloween costume you've ever worn? Dude. I'm going to say the best one I've ever worn was when I dressed up as Manny Pacquiao for Halloween my freshman year at IU. Nice. And I was proud of this one because it was Halloween and like I was going to some party or something. And I'm, I, I knew like with my roommate at the time, we were trying to figure out like, I'm like, what can I be for Halloween, dude? I don't know. And I just thought, you know what? I'm Filipino. Manny Pacquiao's Filipino. That's all I need. Like then I'll just say I'm Manny Pacquiao. So uh, she put got a wife beater, you know those like shirts, mm-hmm. and taped up my hands. Nice. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> it was, it was. Uh, I was just, you know, that's probably my best one because, I just of the way I thought of it. I'm like, mm-hmm. and it worked. I'm like, all right, yeah. sweet. I um, I have a couple. So my Halloween costumes are always like annoying to other people because they're like i gotta explain them um they're like weird puns that i do um which is kind of lame <laughs> no um, i think that's i like that dude. but so early i want to say like middle school um like maybe fifth or sixth grade i went as a ceiling fan okay and by that i mean i was a fan of ceilings uh-huh so i had a shirt that said i love ceilings <laughs> oh my and God. then like i had a little like uh, flag that would wave that said like I love ceilings. That's I great. Heard ceilings. I was a ceiling fan. Wow. Um, love that. Freshman year of high school, I went as a blessing in disguise. <laughs> so I wore like all black sunglasses, black hat, and then I had a name tag that just said what like my name is blessing. That's beautiful. So I was blessing. A blessing in disguise. Blessing in disguise. Dude, I love that. That's and like then, so um, creative. Honestly, my the most fun I've had with the Halloween costume was this past year. Um, I went as a yearbook. <laughs> so what I did was, since we're seniors, I had a plain white T-shirt. Yes. I had, and it wrote "Class of 2022" on it. Okay. And I had eight Expo markers. And so we went to a party, and everyone, I just everyone signed my shirt. Yeah. And sign, it was sign so the much, yearbook. And I actually have. Look at this. You still got it right here. Oh my gosh, dude, that's that's genius, man. It was so much fun. Um. Yeah, I'll show it to you guys. So look how many signatures we had. It's a ton. Front and back. Everyone signed it. Not as Is Derek on there? Oh, definitely. Derek's gotta be on here somewhere. Oh, dude, we gotta get Derek. I'm sure you did. But uh, Derek on here. I would just it was awesome. It was a great conversation to try to walk up to people I didn't know and said, Hey, wanna sign my yearbook? (laughs) Yeah, and then as they're signing, because it's a pretty intimate just like writing on my body. Right. I just have a conversation. I met a lot of people that night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That that was a fun That's a good way to yeah. I can look back Get some girls, it. maybe. Oh yeah, uh-huh. dude, yeah. Totally, dude. So, a lot of girls. 
A lot of girls on here. Good ratio on here. Good stuff. Uh, but you don't need a you don't need that shirt to get girls though. Oh, I know. No. That. Yeah, yeah, totally, dude. <laughs> no, I don't need a shirt. Uh, I honestly I expected a lot of people to draw penises on here. We only got a few. We okay. got a number too. Someone wrote their number on here. Hey, That's look what at we're that. About. We're not gonna dox them. Uh, we're not gonna put that out there, but right. we did get that. Well there we go. Uh, yeah, so this is a fun little thing I can look back on too. You know? I can Absolutely. Just a lot of my friends are on here. It's a good, uh, good little uh, token to take away from senior year. So I highly recommend that if you're going in your senior year or if you just want to use that idea, go as a yearbook. It's the easiest costume of all time. Just have a plain white T-shirt you don't you want to ruin. Buy a pack of Expo markers, and uh, you're good to go. And people love it. People are like, oh, it's so great. Oh, wow, that's fun. And then you get a, you get a cool little token to take home with you that night. That night. Um, that's a that's so that's very creative. Those are those are my three. Yeah, I always like. I'm never just like, oh, I'm going to go as like a hot dog this year. <laughs> I always have to like just be kind of just annoying about it. And that's just, that's something weird. I'm see, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little, I wish I were more like that, more creative, mm-hmm. but you know, like I'm really just like this year, I'll probably just be a cowboy <laughs> or, you know, yeah. for some reason, like actually I'll probably be a cowboy. I want to be a cowboy this really? year for Halloween. Yeah. Really? It's like a desire. Of yours. I don't know what it is, man. It's uh put the cowboy hat on, get a little fake gun yeah holster it i like it um i want to i really wanted to go as ted lasso soon have you seen ted lasso um i oh, think so you think you did then you haven't i promise you have i probably haven't it sounds so familiar dude the sounds soccer so familiar. coach oh yeah ted lasso yeah you i've see, not seen the movie i've not seen the movie it's a show or show nice i'm not seeing the show Great, but I kind of want to go with him. I have a little mustache, Ted Light, like whistle, all that stuff. Little coach that would be, action. That would be like one of my more basic um, costumes I could do. But yeah, that'd be that'd be good though. Um, I should watch that. It looks fun. That guy's a, funny. Oh, incredible show. Incredible show. One of the best shows on television right now. Um, what? Let's rank your top five sports that you like to watch the most. Okay. All right, we'll start from. Should we start from five? Start from one? Uh, yeah, start from five. All right. Number five. <coughs> I don't have see. to think of my list. I know. Me too. Are you going to throw them out there and rank them like as we I go? I dang near have to start with one. <coughs> yeah, let's do that. All right. So my favorite sport to watch is football. I love watching football. <laughs> um, for, you know, it's just action-packed and know the game so you can watch it and appreciate some of the things. Uh, second favorite sport, contrary to popular belief, I like watching golf. Interesting. It's, it's, um, I mean, you know, but I like watching the, the good players. Like I like watching Tiger. I like watching Roy McIlroy. Wait, quick pause. Um, shout out to Brian in the chat here, Brian, I have a deal for you. If you head over to YouTube right now, hop in the YouTube chat, say something, we will uh, move you up on the A-list, and I'll teach Noah how to do that live on air. Absolutely. So, Brian, if you head over to YouTube right now, uh, we're live there. That's where the audio and everything's much better. If you head over to YouTube right now, click the link in the bio, head over there right now. We'll move you up. Honestly? <laughs> Brian, I would have already done it since if I knew how to since do Since he's carrying the chat, let's let's cause him, let's move him up to number one. Let's put him up to number one, we dude. Move him all the way to number one. He deserves so, Brian, it. Brian, if you head over there to YouTube right now, We'll move you up to number one. All right. Sorry, no. Continue your list. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Um, yeah, so golf is number two. And then number three, basketball, I would say. I like watching basketball. Uh, college or- That's a great question. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get hate for this. I like watching the NBA more than college basketball. Um, okay. I don't know. When I'm watching it, I just think these are the best basketball players <laughs> on the planet Earth. And... It's just, I don't know. They're well, watching wait, them do their thing. What was number one again? Football. Okay, that's what Football. I thought. Yeah. So that's uh, my number three. Number four, see, this is where it gets tough. Mm-hmm. Dude, I might have to say, um, hmm, I don't like watching. It, it, dude, I like watching volleyball. Volleyball is pretty when entertaining. you ever watch volleyball? Sometimes it's on. <laughs> like Sometimes it's like, if I'm like just channel surfing uh, like in the morning or something, I'll go on the Big Ten Network, and there's, like, Purdue versus Wisconsin volleyball. Yeah. And I'll just watch it for a little bit. But, I mean, these guys are dogs, dude. And the girls, too. Like, I don't even care. It's just kind of fun to watch them, in my opinion. Um, let's see. My fifth one. Oh, boy. I'd say tennis. Okay. Tennis. Fair enough. 
I'll go. I had a little more time to think about it. I'm gonna go NFL. Okay. Then college basketball. Okay. Then. Oh. See, I like. I like the NBA playoffs more. Yeah. But regular season doesn't really do it for me. Yeah. So I'll say college football. Okay. Then. So I didn't even. I didn't then think NBA. About then fifth one's a toss-up. I'm not going to watch it. But NHL playoffs are electric. Dude, that's what I was going to say. I the forgot about that. playoffs are great, but I'm not going to watch regular season. I will never watch a regular season hockey game. Yeah. That's just not me. Or like same with like baseball. Like I'll watch it in the playoffs. Yeah. But I, I would take – I would rather watch an NHL playoff game than a MLB playoff game. Yeah, me too. Unless like the Cubs are playing. Yeah. If the Cubs That's are in it, which they won't be for a long time, because <laughs> fucking ass. Uh, but uh, damn it. Yeah, uh, I've I've literally given up on baseball. Yeah. Like I've Love said it. this on the show before. I would trade a Viking Super Bowl. Oh. For we got Brian Shane here. Oh, there we go. We got Brian, Brian Shane here. Right, here's I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over the desk to Noah and I'm gonna teach Noah how to add our boy Brian. Great to number have you, bro. one. On the A-list. I believe first time owner of the number one spot on the A-list. I'll be right there, Brian. Man, I can't wait to learn how to do this. This is... So. Okay. Here we go over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Click the A-list. A-list. And to edit, just double click. And then we change it down here. So we can put Brian. We'll just put Brian S. Yes, sir. And then we took Taylor off. We'll have Taylor replace Brian here. That's how it is. There you go, Bri. Boom. Yes, sir. Then you click OK, and we'll watch it change in real time. Number one, Brian Shane. I believe that's how we make the change. Yes, sir. And we'll see how it updates here live. Yep, I'm seeing it update live on my screen right now. Love it. Shout out to Brian. Shout out, Brian. Let's give it up for Brian. Let's give it up for him. He's been holding down the TikTok chat, and now he showed up to YouTube. He's a good listener, and uh, welcome. That's your spot. Number one spot in the A-list. That is a uh, uh, rare, rare. Uh, highly coveted. Yeah, highly coveted. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> highly coveted spot. You are in rare territory up there. So congratulations, Brian. Happy to, just happy uh, to I, have you up I there. will say, we had the idea a couple days ago about putting together composites mm -hmm. for the hall, uh, the A-listers, we have made some ground. We are working on that. I'm putting together a list. I'm compiling lists from the first couple seasons. Yes, sir. And our girl, Taylor, who we just moved down. Sorry about that, Taylor, mm. um, is helping us with that. So <laughs> oh, I feel bad about that. But, well, yeah, maybe you know, but Brian, move her Brian's back up. Brian's been good. Brian's yeah. been good. We can move her up to number – wait, Noah, let's test you. Okay. Let's try to let's put Taylor back at two. All right. And then Here put, we go. Move Sean down to seven. A-list – this see, this is we're just workshopping. We're so know what to work. Here we go. Uh, oh, it's right here. Okay. There we go. Here we go. We got. <laughs> oh yeah. And we'll put. Oh damn. How we doing? We're doing great. There we go. We're doing great. We're we're making we're making a there man it out is. Of you. There we go. There it is, baby. Our girl Taylor, she's helping us. We're going to get those composites made, and then I'm just going to print them at Walgreens, and I'm going to hang them up. Oh, wait. And it's going to be awesome. I think I messed up, actually. No, it's there. I is see it, it. Is it? Yeah, I see okay, it. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, okay. it won't update sometimes on the thing. But, All right, um, sweet, sweet. It'll update on the stream. There it awesome. is. Awesome. Um, All right. What were we just talking about um, before the composites? Sports. Sports to watch. It's favorite sport. Football. Um, oh, oh, Viking. So, yeah. I've been very clear. I would trade. At this point, since the Cubs got the World Series um, in 2016, uh, still top two, three day of my life, maybe the best day of my life, honestly. <laughs> um, I would trade a Viking Super Bowl if it, yeah, even if it meant the Cubs never make the playoffs again. Wow, the rest of my life. You know they if, deserve one. If man. you give me a Viking Super Bowl, I'm fine with the Cubs never making the playoffs again in my life. All right, why? And honestly, me saying that right now, it's very likely to happen. <laughs> the Cubs may never make the playoffs again <laughs> in my life. Ah, uh, dude, those They're poor so cubs, man. Bad. We're so bad now. It's frustrating. So, like, I like, I haven't, I can't tell you half of our team. Yeah, it's so disappointing. I, I remember every like most of the people on the 2016 team, but oh, that's that's it. I mean, I don't know. 
What's crazy? Javi Baez is my, was my favorite dude. What's he's, crazy he's is I could tell you the 2008 2009 team better than that team. You, I could probably get both teams completely, but the 28 2008 2009 team we were, were ass. We were so bad. But I tell you the whole. Like, I mean, we had Aramis Ramirez at third base, Ryan Terrio at second, um, uh, Derek Lee at first, Giovanni Soto pitching outfield. Uh, who, oh, Ronnie Cedeno, Alfonso, at, uh, Alfonso Soriano, I remember Kosuke him. Fukudome, um, center field traded. We got traded for Milton Bradley halfway through the year. <laughs> Carlos Zambrano. He really knows them all. Dude, that was that was my team. That, that, I mean, that's the team where like... Did you know like the bullpen and everything? Like, you oh, knew, yeah. You knew Carlos Marmol was my favorite player. He was a relief pitcher and he was ass. He was so bad. He was my, and I love all that. your favorite players. <laughs> Just ass. <laughs> the relief pitcher. He uh, came in every now and then. But uh, I had a Carlos Marmol t-shirt jersey I wore to a Cubs game that year. Yeah. And it was a game where he blew a save. It was oh a night my. game. And I'm like Dude. the only person in the stands with a Carlos Marmol jersey. You're like, oh, shit. And I'm like, my dad's like covering me up as we leave the stadium. I'm like, <laughs> so don't, funny. Don't, let it, don't make eye contact with anyone. Like, oh, my. Oh, it's unreal. Dude. They literally blew a save that game. It was nuts. I, I got a Cubs jersey uh, for my birthday this last year. Which one? Just it's I mean I asked for I wanted like a Javi Baez one yeah. even though he's not, not there on the team but I still wanted it uh, but I don't think they could find one so Fair. they just my parents just got me some gener- generic generic yeah. Cubs, Cubs which was you know you know what I, I'm appreciative yeah. I wish it was someone yeah I got a I got a Schwarber jersey that I still that's wear. sick Schwarbombs with oh, what a, I love that team yeah the 2016 they were so good awesome. um anyways yeah I would trade uh I would trade Probably body parts for a Viking <laughs> Super Bowl at this point. Have they I've ever? Never won one. They've been in they've one. Been in it four times. Oh man! Uh, not not in my lifetime. Um, Maybe Kirk will uh, go Kirk, for a my, run here. I don't my know. My captain. My captain. <laughs> go captain. My captain. You like that? You like that? I'm trying to get my players to do that. I, I said. Really? I, I told uh, one of my captains. I said I want sometime during the year, maybe against Burbuff. You know, <laughs> we hit an ace, and he just points at me. You like that? Oh boy! <laughs> I can't do oh it right boy. now because I'll cough, <coughs> just like that. But just give me a good. You like that? <laughs> Gosh, I love I love Kirk, uh, but he gets he gets uh, so much hate, so much disrespect. They ranked Mac Jones at the as the 85th best player in the in the league, and Kirk at 99. <laughs> what? That is the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen in my life. He's ha- he has to be that's Kirk horrible. is better at every single stat, literally that they keep. Dude, Let, uh, wins. Passing yards, completion percentage, touchdowns, um, QBR, everything. He's played yeah. literally everything. I don't understand. And I think they literally did it just to piss people off. Dude. Unbelievable. They, oh, I think Mac, jo- Mac Jones is so overrated, he's dude. Like, he's good. He's, he's so good. overrated. He had a good year. Like, he had a solid Fuck fr- them. rookie year. Oh, my gosh. We're talking about I know. Patriots. I know. No, stop. I know. We're we were. Done. I didn't we're even done. realize. It's banned, from the, it's banned from the show. It's banned. Yeah, we're stop. done. Uh, Kirk, Kirk is. Kirk has it's out. Kirk so is better than 85 NFL players. Oh, 100%. I would say. He, he is. He's a top twelve quarterback in the league. Mm-hmm. I was top twelve. Yeah, it's weird though because the NFL is in a time where you, like the so NFL quarterbacks, quarterbacks they're not necessarily franchise QBs. They're just kind of fillers. Yeah. And there's there. a few. I mean, um, you got Mahomes. You got that scumbag <laughs> family hater Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Um, Matt Ryan. Get, I mean, he's a franchise QB. Up. Shut your mouth. Come on, baby. Kirk's better than Matt Ryan. Kirk is better than Matt Ryan. Maybe at this point. Right now. Right now. Yeah. 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 Maybe not. Yeah. His peak, Matt Ryan, was a solid but, quarterback. But Matt Ryan is, I mean, come but on, But the man. Colts are going to do and bring in a quarterback who's past his prime, whose better days are behind him, and then they expect the world from him, and then when he under-delivers, they get rid of him, and they bring another guy, and they just keep cycling through, and they waste <laughs> they waste the good talent they do have by yeah. not committing to either drafting a guy and building him or Dude. going all in for someone like Russell Wilson or <sighs> Matt Stafford. They could have gotten Aaron Rodgers too could have got St- if they really they tried. Do. If they really, really them tried. Them not getting Stafford was the biggest bag fumble of yeah. all time. Yeah. How like how do you not go all in on that? I don't know, dude. Staff, I, I was, as someone who saw him twice a year, I know how good <laughs> Matt Stafford He's was. He's dangerous. When he was in Detroit, he made – some of the worst teams I've ever seen look manageable. And he was so... Him and Calvin get, Johnson. He would get bodied back there. There was no one blocking for him. He's running for his life, and he would still make plays, dude. dude. He was one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the league, and then he gets to L.A., and wins he, wins, he wins a Super Bowl. That's crazy. What about when he dislocated his shoulder 
yeah, stayed still, in the game for the game winning drive he's a and warrior. won the game. I love Matt Stafford. I mean, that's like. I mean, and that's a sign of me. I don't just hate guys who play against the Vikings. People think I, right. I, I hate Aaron Rodgers because he just plays against the Vikings and beats us all the time. No, I hate him because he's a terrible human being and he hates his family. I'm yeah. a family man. Yeah. He hates his family. You can't relate, A Rod. Yeah. Can't relate. Yeah. At what all. A loser. What a freaking loser. Um, and he promotes drug use to kids. So. And he dated Danica Patrick. He's, I, who would ever. Your anti Dan, I don't. Who would ever do that? What's your opinion on Danica Patrick? I don't know. <laughs> just yeah. Why? Why would he? Do why that? would he do it? Why would loser. he ever do that? Don't date Danica Patrick. Come on. Um, You're better than that. Remember those GoDaddy commercials? Of course. Those that's, are crazy. That's of course. Those, those are were, those were insane. Yeah, those were a little. Uh, all of a sudden, it's like, wait, what's going on <laughs> yeah. here? And like, it's like GoDaddy, like yeah. trying to be all like sexy. Very, like, yeah, what? And I don't hell? even know what GoDaddy is. Neither do I. I'm like, like a website. Like, it's like an OnlyFans thing. Like, what is this? Go Daddy would be a much better name for OnlyFans. Yeah. GoDaddy.com. I actually still don't even know what the hell like a, it is. You can, <coughs> you can buy like URL domain names um, for like websites. <laughs> like go, who the hell? But I like. Named it Go? Like why? Yeah. Uh, who, I guess it kind of works that we're talking about it right now still. That's true. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Go to domain hosting email service. Wow. Uh, all right. Tell us. Wait, nope. What do you nope? <laughs> what do you do to beat stress, Noah? Mm. To beat stress, <coughs> I uh, I work out. Um, I wish that was me, dude. Yeah, you know. I wish I could. It's not all the time, but it really does help me relieve some stress. Like if I'm like pissed off or something, yeah. or I'll just work out, and I don't know, it helps me relieve yeah. stress. Or going golfing helps. Uh, just to, like even if I'm not playing well out there, it's mm-hmm. still just nice being out. Kill a couple of hours. Yeah, dude. But if I'm trying to relieve stress playing golf, I have to go at like the twilight time, like at like six or mm-hmm. six thirty when the sun's kind of. It's like cooler and uh, it's just peaceful. It's peaceful. Yeah. I um I really wish I was the person who like enjoyed working out yeah i don't enjoy it i enjoy like being in shape and feeling fit and like right that the after the results where like i feel better about myself afterwards yeah but i don't like enjoy working out i no. just like it's not something i do to like stress relief it, it always feels like a chore yeah I it feel always that. feels like oh i gotta check that box i have to work out today i gotta like just like to stay healthy as a human being yeah I, i'm past the point of just working out to just like get shredded yeah dude it, it, same i'm past that point it's uh but I see, I don't know if I'm like, I don't know if I, I wouldn't say that I work out to like promote my health, you know? Really? Like, I'm not like, oh, I'm going to be healthy and work out. Like, I literally just, work like, out just to like, I'm pissed feel off like I'm a, work out. I, I work out to like, feel like I'm taking care of myself. Yeah. And just like to like, stay somewhat healthy. I guess it is a little bit for uh, like my physical, <laughs> physical so appearance. I also, I eat like shit and yeah. I'm working on that. And so like, but like when I, cause there's a weird dynamic for me. It's because, like, I need to, like, uh, my metabolism is, like, crazy. I got to eat a lot to, yeah. like, put on weight. Right. Um, But. That's a that's a blessing. Uh, and a you, curse. And a curse. And a curse. Right. Um, right. It's all. Double-edged relative. sword. Yeah. Um, yeah, because yeah, I think, yeah, I'd have to eat a, which then, like, to eat a lot, it's easier just to eat a lot of shit. <laughs> Bad food. Dude, you know it's what I mean? so easy. It's, it's so like, easy. Like, I thought about this, actually. What do you think about this? Sorry, if you want to finish. No, you go. So, you know how in school, it's so easy to lower your grade, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if you get an F, your grade goes down. Like, yeah. it gets cut in half. If you get 100%, it okay. goes up, like, maybe yeah. half a percentage point. Yeah. It's like the same thing with, with weight. Dude. It's like, oh, you can yeah, gain yeah. weight so easily. Oh, not. Mine's the opposite. Really? I'm, I work the opposite. It's so much easier for me to lose weight. <laughs> like it's it's like hard for me it's it's very hard for me to put on weight but if you but if you were to especially if, my pro, like when i was like playing tennis like four hours a day right it's right. almost impossible That's for true. me to like take in enough calories that i'm losing each day and you used to sweat you sweat a lot oh yeah yeah so yeah and like, I can see we're out in the sun we're like it, it was almost impossible there were summers i'm playing 9 a.m to 3 p.m every single day jesus and it's hot and it's on the hot. tennis court man and like yeah i'll eat but i'm i'm never going to be able to take enough calories in to replenish what i lost so like 
putting on weight because you got to like almost double the amount like just to put on weight. It's yeah. impossible for me. Yeah. And then my body got used to that. Like my, I think my body balanced out with the metabolism. And so it's just like almost impossible for me to put on weight. Dude. But, well, uh, but also like. You kind of see what I'm saying though. Yeah, I do see what like, like it's, it's. If I were to just not do anything, eat like shit, Mm -hmm. and I mean, I don't eat great, but I mean, I'd be fat at some point, (laughs) and that'd be easy to do, you know? It'd just be easy. I've never been one that can just like force myself to eat more when I'm full. Yeah. When I'm full, I'm full. Yeah. And I'm like, like, that's it. I'm not going to, I don't find- You have good self-control. I just enjoy, like, I enjoy food too much to like- just stuff myself even more to feel miserable afterwards i just enjoy food yeah so i'll eat food that i like and then when i'm full i'm full and stop on thanksgiving i push it a little bit for the yeah, sake but then i feel miserable and yeah. i don't want to feel miserable but then you just you know you take a nap you know <coughs> watch watch the lions yeah. play the bears you know yeah yeah Thanksgiving's a little different animal but yeah i don't know that's just that's our that's our uh our take on putting on weight, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess so. All right, let's let's finish. Uh, oh, it's twelve fifty. So let's do a bright side. So let's do it. Let's get a little bright side action. Okay. It's hump day. It's second half of the week starting soon. Um, no, I'll start with you. What's your bright side? My bright side is. Um, let's see. I. Uh, I mean. I mean, I just I'm very excited for this this game on Friday. Um, this is my first game coaching. It's actually funny because the last game, last football game I played for Burbuff was at the state championship game. So it was at Lucas Oil, and now the first game I'm going to coach for Burbuff is at Lucas Oil. This game's at Lucas Oil. It's at Lucas Oil. No way. Nine uh, eight thirty start time. Wow! Wait, this is a huge game. It's a big game, man. I'm, I'm promoting it. I can't yeah, promote it right now. Tickets. Buy your tickets. Is it on TV? It will be streamed, yes. I'll, I'll watch it. I, I'm not positive like what kind of stream it is, but I'm sure it's like just what's, the, uh, what's your keys to the game? Keys well, I, to the I, game. No, we'll save that for Friday show. We'll save that for Friday show. Yeah. I like that. Because oh, I'll be thinking about it, man. I won't oh, stop yeah. I won't be able to stop talking oh, about yeah. it. But um all right, my bright side. My bright side is uh, Mr. Brian Shane. Yo, shout dude, to, that was a good one. Yeah, shout out to Brian. He had a great shout day. Shout out, Brian. Thanks for, thanks for holding down the fort in the chat on both ends. Uh, we appreciate that, obviously. Yeah, we're getting used to this new time slot, so people are still adjusting. Uh, so we need to promote this show like crazy. So uh, Absolutely. We need to get it out more, so we appreciate Brian for being here in one of the early days of this shift. So thank you for that. And uh, that's our show, folks. We'll see you on uh friday no, i say now officially no show tomorrow i gotta bring my brother in um so that'll no be fun tomorrow. you're good you're a good brother for that yeah we're Why? gonna have a, we're gonna have a good show friday though absolutely so i appreciate that get and ready we'll to talk some then. football yes sir bye right. love y'all love peace. y'all peace oh all right dude